All right. So this is a quick little um, addition to my money saving video uh, because I realized I left out two big things that we do to save on, on and I don't know why I forgot this but I was reminded when I went down to my laundry room um, and into my bedroom so I had to add this in this goes along the lines with saving money on our laundry I, I don't even know why I think this slipped my mind because of the fact that I've been doing it for so long but um, we make our own laundry soap and the whole family kind of gets involved and um, yeah I don't I, I don't understand why I forgot to put that in but I've been doing this for a little over three years so it's probably why it's just kind of I just do it naturally and didn't even think about how much money it saves me until just now I actually spend on my supplies to make my laundry soap for the whole year if I figure in the amount of water I use, it's probably around $20 for the whole year. I had saved a bunch of laundry soap bottles. I got them from people. I mean, I just, I have all kinds of different laundry soap bottles that either I got from people, you know, that didn't want to throw them away or we're going to recycle them. And I will make from one batch of laundry soap. I have this recipe my sister gave me and it makes a five gallon bucket of laundry detergent and then I then it's still concentrated it's still somewhat concentrated at that point and you stir it up and you fill the laundry soap bottles halfway with hot water and then the rest of it is the detergent and then each time you use it you just have to shake it up a little bit and you use as little or as much as you need and then sometimes if I have some things that are a little extra dirty or smelly, I'll put in like maybe a half a cup of vinegar. And um, I have this concentrated laundry softener that I buy from the online wellness company. And it's lavender scent. And that's really soothing. And everybody seems to like it. I wash my bed sheets with it. Oh, it's just amazing. So that's one way we save. And honestly, I only have to make that about three times a year and sometimes if I just I'm so busy I at least get it made up and I'll sometimes like in the last three months I actually just had the bucket beside my washing machine and I just had a a lid from an old laundry soap bottle and I was just scooping it out as I needed it but you have to make sure you're uh, not using as much when it's concentrating you, when, it's, when it's still concentrated in the bucket you have to use a little bit less but it worked fine but I'm gonna go ahead and fill the buckets um, today or I mean fill the bottles today because I just made some last night so yeah that's one thing we do to save money but like I said $20 for the whole year where some people probably spend $20 a month think about that that's a big difference and this laundry soap is great for uh, uh, myself that has I have sensitive skin my kids it doesn't really affect anybody I mean we have had no problems with it and you can use it uh, as like a stain um, a pre-treater that's what I'm trying to think of so yeah and then another thing um, I am not afraid to shop clearance racks and consignment shops thrift stores as you probably know I you know in one of my videos I showed my haul from a thrift store I also love bag sales our local thrift store has a bag sale and I can get some great finds they used to do a bag sale where they would start out at a dollar a bag then the next day it would be 50 cents a bag then after that it would be 25 cents a bag and then sometimes if they still have some inventory to get rid of they will do free you can get like a bag for free fill it up and it's the large paper sack paper grocery sacks I used to go and take just a little over two dollars and I would fill up I would go on the days when it was either 50 cents a bag or 25 50 cents a bag day is actually the best day because there's not too much that have has been taken and there's still there's still some good things left 
and I'll come home and I will basically have a new wardrobe for myself. Maybe I'll have a few things for my kids, some new shoes, some new things for the house, things I can make gifts with because our thrift store has all kinds of stuff. They have a room with craft stuff in it. They have a room for kitchen items, household items. Um, they have clothes, toys, I mean, lots of things. And I am not ashamed to buy my kids toys from the thrift store. They can get them for like a quarter a piece. And sometimes we're even lucky enough that if I'm buying a bunch of items, the lady at the thrift store will throw in at each each of my kids will get a toy for free if they really want it. And I just bring them home and I wash them really good and they're fine. So that's those are some other ways that we save money that I, I really thought that I needed to throw in there. I thought I can't leave those out. So thanks for putting up with this other video and I hope you uh, subscribe follow my channel like I said in the previous video if there's something you want me to uh, go more in depth on or if you have a question or even a suggestion that might help me save a little bit more money or someone else might help someone else go ahead and comment I'm all I'm up for anything so thanks guys